Yo guys, what's up? Preston with X Trades here. And today we are going to be talking about how to create a watch list, how to find tickers for your watch list. I'm going to go through a couple of different ways that you can do this. Let me hide that. And basically finding tickers, charting them for yourself, and adding them to your watch list, or having finding tickers with charts through our Discord and basically adding them to your watch list if they look good. So the first thing I'm going to go over is just scanning. And I use Thinkorswim personally, but you can use whatever, any trading platform is going to have a way to scan for whether it's contracts or, sorry, contracts or tickers. There's different ways to scan for it. But um, how I do it is think or swim. You get all your settings in order. Feel free to use mine. It's pretty basic. Uh, delta, option delta, option volume, option open interest, days to expiration on the contract, and then the uh, stock price itself because I'm not going to be trading options on penny stocks. I'm looking for stocks that are $10 or higher. Rightly so. And then days to expiration, I'm looking for weeklies or a month out. Open interest and volume. You want good liquidity. You want good depth. So you're going to be looking for options in this range just because you want to be able to get in and out of your contracts easily. And then your delta just because you got a good uh, range of contracts here. And then... Going to go ahead and hit scan with your settings that you like on your trading platform. And it's going to come up with a list of tickers. You can see here that they're all well-known tickers. Nothing really uh, out of the blue that you wouldn't recognize ticker-wise. So it's a good, good starting point. You, start, you get your list of tickers, and then you basically just start charting. So first one on the list, GE. We're going to take a look here, go over to GE. I, I keep my day or my charts up to date on GE. It's just been, this one's been sitting around for a while now, but waiting for it. You can see here that we got some good volume today, looking for this uh, resistance break. And so basically kind of gets you in the loop here with the large amount of volume, scanning the day before. So then tomorrow I will... I will add this on my, onto my watch list now. Let me get rid of that. But I, when I see this, I'm seeing, okay, I got the resistance right here. And basically going to have this on the watch list for tomorrow, see if we can break this resistance and start making our way up to this 1440 resistance. And that's when you would add it to your watch list. Same thing. What do we got next? Apple. So coming from the scan over to trading view or whatever you use to chart. You kind of see here that uh, kind of closed on EMA, but we got some resistance right here and then a little trend line action going right around here. So just drew that up real quick. You can see we got a little ascending triangle going on, looking for a break of this resistance right around the 149.30 range. I assume it's 150 though. Yeah, so around 150, looking for the break there. And then I would add it to my watch list. Again, you can see I held this trend line. So we're kind of tightening up here, looking for the breakup. And this is adding it to your watch list, getting the chart pattern ready. And you can basically start accumulating a position before the breakout. So you're not trying to catch up. You can chart it before and then things are looking good so another thing if we head over to discord is going to be options elite and options watch list so options elite is going to be where some of our members with a certain rank can post charts with uh, commentary 
they'll post, I think Taylor posts. Yeah, Taylor will post contracts. So different contracts you can put on your watch list or different charts and tickers that you can put on your watch list. So it's a good variety of things. Whereas when you scan, obviously it's tuned to your settings, but you don't really get to choose the chart pattern. There's ways to scan for chart patterns, but I don't necessarily do that. I like to make my charts myself. So options elite is a good way to find tickers for a watch list. Um, you can see your charts so you can see the chart pattern. Uh, see here with a little ascending triangle, just sort of things like that. Um, gives you some uh, tickers to look at with the charts that go along with it, which is very nice when you're newer to options trading, newer to technical analysis, sort of gets you a step ahead into finding. Uh, tickers you can trade options on. Same thing with options watch list. We're going to go through this and basically just gives you charts with a little more in-depth commentary. It's going to be sponsored traders, analysts, and staff members that are going to be posting here. So it's going to be a lot more tickers with price ranges, um, occasional contracts, that you can trade. <clears throat> so definitely a good variety of uh, things you're gonna find here. Guru likes to post in here a lot. So you can see a good list of tickers with some price ranges looking across all time highs, stuff like that. JTW will post his daily spy plan in here, which a lot of members swear by. Older members, newer members, everyone loves it. So good watch list area for contracts um and making uh, trading alerts hydra posts his watch list in here so you can add all these tickers and then chart them for yourself so that's a good area so overview of everything going back over making a watch list got your scan right here you scan for tickers basically fine tunes it to where you have tickers that you can basically have a list you can start charting. This is where the after hours and pre-market extra time comes in handy during market close or pre-market trading. You can find those tickers, spend the time, chart them, and set yourself up for the following trading day or market open if it's pre-market. And then you get your list, start charting, see what looks good, make your chart patterns, keep your charts up to date during the trading day and uh, after hours updating your charts and at the end of each day, basically scanning to add on to your watch list. And then if you're sort of newer to technical analysis or not too familiar with scanning, there's videos on it, but just to get you started, we have options elite, which is gonna be posting tickers, contracts, charts, the whole, the whole lot for you to go through and uh, read everything. Then options watch list, gonna be the same thing. You got tickers, contracts, charts, more in-depth analysis, which is gonna be good for the newer options traders and the experienced options traders. For some of these tickers, like tickers I don't even, uh, I'm not even familiar with in this, in Guru's post here. So, Definitely three three good areas that you can make your watch list from and then do your own research and figure out what you want to trade. All right. This is Impressed with X Trades and thanks for